the process is going, you know, people getting behind Trump, as you've talked about. I, I think it is happening. You know, I've spoken to a lot of people just in the last day and a half, and everybody's kind of, you know, moving in that direction. I know there's still some people here at the convention that aren't there with Trump, but um, no, I think uh, people understand that he's going to be the nominee. And as a result of that, um, you know, it brings people together on down ticket races, not just in Wisconsin, but across the nation. So I think people are starting to realize that. Do you view this as a critical week for the party and for the campaign? I do. I do. Um, you know, I just know from my own perspective as majority leader, the candidates we've recruited, they all want to get on the same message, and, you know, that's being further articulated here at the convention. So, yeah, I, I it is an important uh, week for us. Yeah. Do, you, do you think that you kind of set the tone on that? Because a couple of weeks ago in Watertown, you kind of emphatically said, look, we got to get on the Trump train here because this is, it's not going to work any other way to have a third candidate or something happen at the convention. Like, kind of everybody followed suit after that, it seemed like. Yeah, I mean, I didn't coin the phrase Trump train, uh, but... But since then, yeah, a lot of people are kind of using that to, to just, I think, show kind of or reaffirm where Chairman Reince Priebus was and saying, you know, hey, this is over and we need to coalesce around Trump. And uh, I just followed his lead, really. Uh, yeah, it might have been, you know, the next day that I kind of jumped on that. But um, I thought it was important. So I did, you know, a little bit of media and that took off. and. It just seems like people are coming along. As a matter of fact, I mean, some of the some of the comments that uh, and the editorial pages are now saying, you know, hey, this is a big deal for the Republicans if, if they're going to have success in November. So I just kind of underscored that or reaffirmed that, Senator. So uh, a lot of you, uh, a lot of Republicans, including the governor, talk about being for something and not against something. And a lot of people on your side might be against Hillary. Clinton. Give your sense of why you're for Trump. What does he give? What does he bring? Why do you like him? Yeah, I, I mean, I think early on, you know, I kind of sat out on the whole presidential race, especially because Governor Walker was in it. So a lot of a lot of us that are elected officials in Wisconsin kind of sat on the sidelines. But I started to hear it almost right away that, that people in my district who were approaching me saying, and some of them, you know, caught me off guard by saying, I'm with Donald Trump. I mean, they were saying this early on. And uh, so you kind of examine in your own head, why are people gravitating towards him? And I think the bottom line is people want to shake up, for the most part, D.C. You know, they really want to, they really want to see some wholesale changes because they're not happy about the direction that Congress is moving. And they are certainly not happy with, with uh, President Obama and some of his policies. So they want things to be shaken up. And, and I think if you're an elected official and you don't understand that or grasp that, then you're out of line with a lot of people. So I, I think that's what they're looking for. They're looking for a wholesale change in D.C. And Donald Trump represents it. But is there a concern that there's a risk in that Just for state Republicans oh, yes. because of, A, the unpopularity of both of these candidates and the fact that the polls show do not show him doing well in Wisconsin? Well, and I think that'll change. I mean, if you look at the results of our April 15th primary, um, you can see where Cruz did better in southeastern Wisconsin. Um, I'm sure that some of that was driven by talk radio, conservative talk radio. But then you get beyond that, and uh, he did very well in northern Wisconsin and in western Wisconsin. And uh, when I look at those types of results, I'm thinking, okay, eventually those people are going to come home. It's going to be a good mix for us, and we're going to do well in November. So, uh, you know, I, I think that Wisconsinites will get there, and I think he will do better than most people think he's going to do, you know, as we stand here today. What does he need so, to project this week in order to get Wisconsin people on board? Strength. No doubt about it that he's strong. He's going to be a strong leader. I hope that, uh, you know, his, his uh, nomination speech is going to demonstrate kind of better articulate some of the stuff he's saying kind of off the cuff. If he can develop that line and, and work that into his speech, I think um, I think that's what he needs to do this week. So what okay. concern are you when he's off script? Last question. Well yeah, I think I think everybody, you know, knows that he's never run for office before. So it's almost um, it's almost like somebody that's just jumping into that arena for the first time. And I think that's where some of the comments he's made kind of shake people up a little bit because he's not articulating that message the same way that you're used to hearing, you know, elected officials say. So I think that's what some people are concerned about.